Hey guys, today's video is going to be about packing for the JET program. Bing. It, it really applies to anyone who's moving to Japan and really could be useful to anyone doing a big move. But before we jump into the video, I just want to encourage you to watch my actual packing video first because this is the one year later, where are they now reflection video. So if you want to get the full sense of what's happening in this video, go ahead and watch that one first. I'll give you time to go watch it now. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Cool, let's go. Good Wednesday afternoon, YouTube. Uh, I hope your day is going well. I'm doing not too bad, but it is miserable outside. This morning, I've been taking my umbrella to work every morning this week, but I didn't bring it today. And of course, today is the day that like, it's disgusting out. Um, but it was fine when I left the house this morning. Anyway, point of this video, I wanted to do something more focused, right? That's the new idea of this channel. Um, so today I'm gonna do my first video project that I've been kind of thinking about for a long time, which is revisiting my packing list because I made this video for my packing list about a year ago and I had an idea of what I was getting into, but you know, you never really know what you're getting into until you're there and you're in doing it. Um, so yeah, the point of this video that I'm making today is to give you some insight into what, first of all, what I brought with me, um, but more importantly, what I've used, what I regret bringing, what I would bring in the future. Um, so I've got it set up on my little, my little screen over there. So I'll put a little picture in the corner or wherever it'll fit um, so you can watch along with me. But without further ado, let's get started. So. First impression, my god, my hair is a mess. My hair is still a mess, but like, ugh. <laughs> I wasn't even in the humidity of Saga yet, and it was already a disaster. Okay, so looking at all the baggage allowance stuff that I had that I could bring, I actually am really happy with the decisions that I made, because I had my 40 liter backpack, I had my laptop bag, and I stuffed those and I've used my full size suitcase. So I maxed out pretty much the baggage allowance they gave me and I'm happy with that. I didn't ship anything early um, and I didn't go over any of the limits. So I used what they gave me and I'm happy. I know that some people couldn't ship things. I know some people could ship things, but it was expensive or could ship things, but it was really slow. So. My recommendation, stick with the baggage allowance you're given. Cash. Bring as much as you can. Just bring as much as you can. Ooh, driving permit. That's some triggering. I'm working through the nightmare of getting my license translated right now to get more, one more permanent Japanese license. And man, that's a nightmare. I'm so glad I've had this um, permit for this year though. Like 100% necessary if you need a car and 100% useful and worth it if you don't need a car, but still want to rent. Such great space maximization. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it right here because I think this is gonna be short. Oh my God, I am so grateful I've brought as much toothpaste and deodorant as I have. I'm going back in a week and a half to Canada um, and I'm gonna probably buy some more there because I'm still, I'm still good for supplies, but I, I, I fear more than anything, the day that I ran out of toothpaste or deodorant because it's just not as good here. It's just not, it's just different. Maybe not as good as harsh. The toothpaste is different. The deodorant is not as strong. Anyway, and I'm gonna stop myself again here. Oh my God, the welcome presents. Okay, so those caramels, so there's three things here. There's some maple tea, there's some maple cream cookies, and there's some maple caramels. The caramels, melted and fused on the plane because it was so hot and humid. So it was gross. People liked them, people ate them, but they were gross. Um, the maple tea I gave to my principals as little welcome gifts and it ended up in like the staff communal tea sections. So either they didn't understand that it was meant for just them or they didn't want it. My recommendation, 
don't worry about getting individual presents for anyone yet. Um, but the maple cream cookies, um, who did I give those to? I forget. Uh, I, I, they were well received. If you're, if you're gonna bring, if you're gonna bring a welcome present from Canada, you don't need to. But if you're going to, the maple cream cookies are probably the best bet because those can last. Okay. Wi-Fi router was useless. Completely useless. Completely useless. Winter stuff. I'm in Kyushu, I don't need it. If you're in the north, definitely, but not where I am. Those chocolate coins, those chocolate coins melted. Uh, haven't used the bandana, really. Yeah, all the clothes, all the clothes, oh. All the clothes I don't regret. I've worn all the clothes, even if I haven't worn the jackets a ton. The indoor shoes. So I brought a pair of specifically indoor shoes, uh, and I ended up buying a second pair here because they're really cheap they're everywhere it's much more like within the culture to have indoor shoes here um and it meant one less thing to carry so i thought i was just going to use one pair people were like oh yeah I just i bring them in a backpack between schools i have two schools and i'm allowed to keep a pair of shoes at each so i'd say if you know you don't have too many schools just buy them here you don't need you don't need to bring them unless you have a pair of shoes that you really like I have not worn that, that jacket since I've been here. Um, I've used the rain cover and my sleeping sack a little bit, a couple times. One suit's been, has sufficed for me this year. I probably could have done with fewer ties, but they were small, so I'm not too hurt for the space they took up. Yeah, I've worn all those clothes. I bought more clothes since I've come here. Speaking of clothes, the first summer I got here, everyone told me to invest right away in cool tech. And I was like, ah, oh, whatever, I don't need it. I'm used to, you know, hot, humid summers. Ah, uh, that was a very stupid, naive, new thing for me to, to do. Um, I now have, um, so I'm now currently wearing some cool tech, um, shirt and these pants are actually from Uniqlo. They are, they are like a breathing synthetic fabric and I cannot wear my regular pants right now because it's summer. I cannot wear the pants that I've brought with me from Canada. They're excellent in the winter. They're fine for spring and fall, but like in summer, I I need these now. They're actually ankle pants. So they <laughs> only go this far, uh, a little bit further, but um, I love them. These are cool. They're the closest thing I can get to wearing shorts to work. Um, I don't know if Canada or the US really has cool tech the same way that Japan does. So it's something that I would say, if you're worried about bringing too much clothing, if you know that Japan, Japanese sizes can kind of fit your body, wait till you get here and invest in more of the seasonal clothing. Cause seasonal clothing really is a bigger thing here. Clothes are really much more designed for a particular season um, versus I feel like in North America, we design our buildings to handle seasons and our clothes just kind of fit in the buildings. Those chocolates melted too. Yeah, my toiletries are super light. I didn't bring any, I didn't bring any shampoo, conditioner, body wash because I knew I'd get some at the hotel in Tokyo and I stole those mini bottles with me until I got to Saga uh, and then I bought full size stuff once I got here. So I do still need to get a decent hair product to keep this frizz contained though. Oh, I think everything in this bag was useless. Yeah, the currency from other countries, you don't need it. Um, I mean, it's, I guess it's fine, but I've just gotten more currency since I've been here. Um, I've used, I think, half those plugs. I've not used my positive space or suicide prevention training stickers. Oh, all the postcards and pictures. I had such great plans. I was gonna make a wall of my postcards like I've done in previous places, but it's too humid here to do it for four months of the year. And it's too hard to find adhesive stuff that works well that doesn't strip paint, so those have been sitting in my closet all year. Yeah, the books. I haven't used them a ton, but whatever. I'm glad I brought them. They've been useful references. I have used them a few times. God, all this technology. All this technology that's broken since I got here. It really hurts. Seeing all this stuff that I thought was going to last me. Okay, and that's all. So, well, 
that was my play by play. Um, general themes and trends, I guess I can pull away from this. Uh, let me take this out. My general tips, pack as much as you can into the space that you're given. Try not to go above it. If you don't currently live with it and need it, you won't need it once you get here, probably. Remember that you can buy stuff once you get here. Save space for the things that are important. I packed Quachi. This guy is enormous. He is light, so he kept my weight down, but he took up like an eighth of one of my suitcases. And that's a lot for one thing. But I love having him here. He's great. He really adds to the vibe of the room. And I don't regret that choice at all. So I'd say like sentimental things are fine. Bring them because you can buy stuff here. You can buy, you know, a life. You get paid a decent amount. Um, many people are working off student loans or other kinds of debt. Um, but even still, you are paid a living wage here, and so you can buy some of the little, like, I don't know, apartment flourishes once you get here. Um, or just stay around long enough and you kind of get gifts. Like, I have, I don't even know, half the stuff over there is gifts. Actually, this whole animal stack is gifts. So, you know, like, wherever you live, wherever you go, you, you acquire stuff. Um, so just, if you're gonna bring stuff intentionally, make sure that it's stuff that you want and like. My last warning, technology. So, I have been through the ringer with technology. My router that I packed, completely useless. I had to get a router with the company that I signed up for here. Some people have made it work from what I've heard, but for me it didn't. Um, all of my technology that I brought, basically, has since broken on me. The phone, the tablet, the laptop, all three of those are gone. Um, the battery pack is gone. The digital camera is fine, but it's, I don't use it that much. I use my camera more. Um, be careful with your stuff that you bring. That's my warning. It's an adventure. Whenever you do a big move like this, you, you can never fully anticipate everything. So it's, it's okay to bring stuff and regret it. Like, the only thing that I really, really, really would have taken out from my backpack if I could go back and slap some sense into that Jonathan is I don't need the modem, um, the router. Oh, and the chocolate. Oh God, the chocolate, the chocolate. Yeah, I really didn't need the chocolate. Oh, it was so gross. I So I used the chocolate coins at this event in like November um, that I vlogged about actually for Canadian Booth. And I was gonna give the chocolate out to people, but it had melted and reformed so many times from the transportation from the heat that it they were in like little like individual sealed things and they had turned into like this like orange greasy filmy substance that they were covered with um and they were disgusting so don't bring chocolate don't bring chocolate you might have heard it many times before i'm going to tell you five more times if you ask me do not bring chocolate or anything that can melt. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed watching this video with me. Uh, if you haven't already seen it and you didn't watch it before you watched this video, go back and watch my full packing video. You'll get to hear my thoughts on it at the time. I sound so innocent and unaware of what I'm getting into. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, on that note, <laughs> um, peace, love, and happiness. Catch you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.